So Enola Holmes. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, The Book Champ. My name is Max and today we're going to be talking about Enola Holmes, The Case of the Missing Marquise. But before we begin, if you like awesome bomb book reviews by yours truly, don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, it'll always let you know when my videos are being uploaded. Let's get to it. So this is the baby sister of famous Sherlock Iron Minecraft Holmes. Like what? Yes, I'm gonna be a little bit biased because it was a girl. <laughs> I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So in this book, Enola wakes up on her 14th birthday. Her mom is missing and nobody knows where she is. So she kind of like lets it go for a little bit and it's like, okay, mom did not come home. It's my birthday and I... I I need help. So she telegraphs her brothers the news, like people who she hasn't seen since she was four years old, and they're coming to town. <laughs> she like, okay. I felt it. I felt that little like uh, nervousness, like anxiety. Like, are they gonna like me? I, I totally get it. You know, like first impressions, especially like family. You're like, oh my god. Like their opinion matters. <laughs> and Sherlock Holmes and Minecraft do actually like come out in the novel. It's not their book. They are, you know, there for a little bit and then whoop, bye bye. This is an Enola Holmes mystery book, so mm, give her her due. I know Minecraft has never been like a sweetheart, but I'm like, yeah, I don't like this one. <laughs> yep. Yeah. And Sherlock Holmes was he wasn't a teddy bear. He wasn't like, oh my gosh, Enola. Nothing like that, but he did converse with her a little bit. He was more sympathetic. Guess what? Her brothers want to send her off off to boarding school like excuse me if i were nola i'd be like you haven't seen me since i was in time no. <laughs> i guess you haven't seen me since i was four and now you want to ship me away for like forever mm, yeah oof, i felt that one and since her brothers are saying that their mom ran away on purpose what <laughs> Mm, they're not gonna help find their mom. So it's up to Enola to actually find out what happened. Even if her mom left, she wants to know why. And on her birthday, guys, like, I, yeah, I would totally do that too. Uh, I'm your baby girl, like, I'm not even a kid's good night. So she embarks on this journey. She tries to dodge her brothers from finding her. Now it's a game of missing mama and cat and mouse. Because if they catch Enola off to a boarding school, she goes. And she's not gonna leave without finding what happened to her mom. So the quest begins. And I like that this book really highlights Enola's, like, intelligence. Her brother think she's kind of dumb so they have to water everything they take to her down but she's like um excuse you she's very able she's not like a, uh, a damsel in distress like no sir like, we see her get into like life or death trouble and she handles it like a champ she is very resourceful guys she's never like oh my gosh i don't know what to do like she never lets fear overtake her i loved that guy she's 14 years old i would have been like <laughs> help help and she would like I got this. Well, maybe not that fast, but she like, oh, she calmed down, she thought about it, and on to it. So on her way to find her mother, she disguises herself as a lady, and she 100% knows that her brothers will try and find her dressed as a tomboy. She was blending in, but it was very like, pff, like out there, like, I am a lady, I am a respectful woman, wearing a corset and a big fluffy dress. And I was like, good for you, Enola. She knows her brothers, so I was like, that was very clever. I did like that. <laughs> and on her way to find her mother, she kind of strolls into like a missing case of a, like a royal family member. And you know, I'm already here. Might as well just lend a hand. And so she gets included into this missing person's case, which she like immediately solved. I was like, get it. Hey, you're totally a Holmes. Like, no need to call my brother. I've got this. So that was very cool, man. And it shows that she was nervous. She was like, oh my god. Like, she was intrigued. She was excited to take part in this case. And when she did, it was like, oh my gosh, girl, I'm totally feeling you. <laughs> like, yeah. It's like bravery at the very start. But once people start asking questions and specifics, like, uh, just give me a minute. Give me a minute. <laughs> so that in itself is an adventure within an adventure. Like, she's trying to find her mom. And now she's somehow taking point in this missing person's case. And it's like, all the while, trying to escape her brother. And it's like, oh my gosh, girl, like, get it, get it. <laughs> so this is a series. This book does continue on. No, she doesn't find her mother at the end of the book, which is kind of cool, you know. If you find the mom, it's kind of going to end there. And I just wanted it to go on more, more, more. <laughs> like, I really liked Enola. I liked her flair, her groove. Like, she wasn't uptight like Minecraft or Sherlock. Like, she's her own person. And I love that she wasn't trying to imitate her brother. She wasn't trying to be like, mm, I can do this all by myself. Like, she was just a girl experiencing, like, the world by herself and just using her wits and her cleverness to outdo like even people that wanted to hurt her to kill her guys are so always getting herself out of situations like being very clever about it and it just felt so real you know it's like um i'm be honest guys i don't feel like i would ever be a sherlock <laughs> i can't even find my earrings and they're like right in front of me so enola's kind of like learning as she goes and i love that like i didn't want another detective to be like oh i was just born with this amazing gift like no 
on, man. Like, no, how can I relate to that? Ugh. I want a story for me, for the people that really have to work for it. And this one totally gave me like a brand new flavor on a detective series. So I'm gonna give the case of the missing Marquise and Enola Holmes mystery four bookworm points out of five. So. <laughs> I'm very happy guys. I read this before the Netflix movie comes out with Millie Bobby Brown <laughs> So I'm very excited to see it guys So I feel more prepared now that I read a little bit about it and I just can't wait to continue with the series So thank you so much for watching guys And if you like watching this girl talk about books books and books Don't forget to subscribe hit that notification bell It'll always let you know when my video should be uploaded and I'll see you guys next time. Bye